Um, good day, we're married. Um, again, my name is Zika Pewe and I am from Liberia in the Your Big Year 3 competition. I'm a referral ID is 3522. I'm honored to have Her Excellency President uh, Ellen Johnson Soli of the Republic of Liberia. And she's also a Nobel Peace Laureate 2011. And I'm going to be doing a short interview with her. Um, my name is Zika Pewe and I'm a Liberian. And I'm representing Liberia in this global competition called Your Big Year, which is a World Merit Initiative. And World Merit and is a British organization that is helping young people to empower them. And as this competition goes on, are we competing to be the ambassador, the youth ambassador for World Merit for a year, which will enable the winner to have a trip around the world in 21 countries on six continents, uh, implementing social impact projects, and as well as um, meeting world leaders and carrying on several empowerment programs. So um, we're around 60,000 young people that enter the competition from over 200 countries around the world. And currently uh, we are 120 left uh, from 30 countries, and I'm a part of it. Um, I'm hoping that I uh, can be selected as a 12th Final uh, champions that will be flown to Liverpool in November um, for the final stage of the competition. I'm very honored that you've given me the opportunity to conduct these interviews. It's such a great thing for me. Um, so, Madam President, um, the first question is what year is your big year and why would you consider that year your big year? I think 2006 was my big year. That's the year I was inaugurated as the first democratically elected woman in Africa. And in that year started off you know, with a lot of support, a lot of enthusiasm uh, by the Liberian people and by the international community. And so that will always remain in my history and in my memory, you know, as probably the, uh, the biggest year of my life. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And secondly, what is the importance of the discipline? Because you are someone in the politics and public service discipline. And how do you intend to uh, or, or, or help the upcoming generation? What plans do you have for the upcoming generation? Well, I think my own personal discipline is is, um, is 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 fiscal discipline, ensuring that uh, people manage money well, ensuring that people exercise uh, integrity in, in what they do, and that goes back to the service, my service both domestically and internationally. I think. I was well known for that fiscal discipline. And so um, I hope that, first of all, to inspire young people and empower them, first and foremost, is to set the example, you know, so that those around you with whom you work, with whom you interact, can see that you demonstrate that discipline of, of using money properly, of making sure you manage your finances, both your personal as well as public resources that are in your care. Um, after setting the example, then it's a question of um, working with young people and trying to encourage them to be fiscally disciplined and tell them the reward that it gets because once you establish a reputation of that, uh, people admire you, people respect you, and they, it makes you strong in your career. Okay, thank you. Well, talking about inspiring, I, I, I think that you are, you are an inspiration to me and for me. And also on the World Merit community, we have a very big community of over 200,000 young people that in that, on that community. And they, all of them have been very inspired because what I do there is I post a lot of things about Liberia, trying to make people to know about Liberia every time. Because I was challenged and when the first time I entered and I was introducing myself and someone asked, where is Liberia? You know they were they're not informed by the country, so I took it as a challenge 
to keep informing people about Liberia, telling them my country, my president, and the achievements that Liberia have had in work. And from that, um, overwhelmingly, there has been this kind of passion and support. And in fact, the, 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 the founders of World Merit um, informally told me to ask you, and they'll be sending a letter to that effect, that you serve as a global ambassador for politics and public service for World Merit. They'll be very honored to have you in that capacity. Um, they said they are preparing a letter, and if I have this interview, I should inform you that the letter is coming. And it'll be very, very, very honored to have you as a global ambassador. So you can help to uplift um, the support that they're giving to young people orally. And because many persons, many, many young people, they even give me personal messages to I don't have the time to give to, give to you um, on behalf of them. So um, once again, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. I've shown to me that you are indeed um, for the young people of Liberia. The fact that uh, you've given me this opportunity um, many people, other countries around the world, tried to reach their president, and they could not reach their president. If I have this opportunity, I'm going to be the only person who's going to reach a sitting president. So uh, this is a very great opportunity for me, and I'm very honored. I'm very, very humbled and honored that you, my president, has given the time to talk to me to the interview. Thank you very much, and I'm hoping that I can go and win this award and come and present it to you on behalf of the country. Let me commend you and congratulate you, you know, for your success so far in this competition and encourage you to be your country's young ambassador, um, to tell the good side of your country's story. It has challenges, but I think there's a lot of progress and a lot of positive things that are happening in the country. And if you can represent that for us, you do your country and you do me a very big favor. So we'll be rooting for you. We'll be praying for you, and we hope you win. Uh, you win that, and get an opportunity to broaden your horizon uh, through the trip that will be that will be uh, financed and promoted by Merrick. I look forward to receiving their letter, and to through them working with young people not only in Liberia but around the world.